This is my 2019 Coleman moped. It is a 49cc scooter and not terribly fast. I think it makes about two horsepower or so, but we do think it can make more. <sighs> So I acquired this moped early last year. I got it from an ATV repairman uh, who didn't know what was wrong with it. That will play in later. And it didn't run. I mean, he said it needed a new battery. So after I picked it up for $300, which uh, maybe wasn't a good deal, I went to O'Reilly's, got an $120 battery, which I didn't think about it at the time because I just wanted to get it running, took it home, and it didn't work. I couldn't figure out what was going on with it. And in the course of all this, I replaced the carburetor, the spark plug, of course, the coil, the battery, and the exhaust, which was surprisingly the best improvement to its performance, but nothing worked. And what happened was it was low on oil. Apparently these small engines have a, well, they won't start if they're low on oil, which I know that sounds stupid, but how many videos do you watch where people are replacing a, or fixing an old engine and they're like, eh, leave the oil in there. We have to fix everything around it before we get to that. And so that's what my mindset was, but I could have saved a lot of money in this whole thing, but alas, it was a good learning experience. Also, I did uh, add some spark plug and a coil. I don't remember I mentioned that, but these were all in the hopes of making the performance better, and none of them really did that much of a big deal. I mean, the exhaust, which, <laughs> the old exhaust was falling apart. You could, hit, you could shake it around, you could hear, I guess, the catalytic converter just falling apart in there, and that's what was choking it. And so the new one helped tremendously, but it's still, the hill climb performance is the poorest part, and so is the top speed. I'm not getting that advertised top speed that Coleman says. It's rated, I believe, for 30 miles an hour. You are not getting 30 miles an hour. I've only gotten around 25 max speed or so on a straight shot, and if you go up a hill, like up here behind me, that's about 15 to 10 miles an hour, depending on who's riding it. So. I'd say that this project is uh, slightly necessary because it'd be fun to be able to actually use this on some inclines and you know maybe even drive with traffic. So I'm very interested to see if our supercharger project will improve the top speed. But before we supercharge this thing, we need to get some baseline tests, get the numbers of what it does now, how it drives, and then we'll be able to compare and contrast later. So the way this is going to work is we're going to have a GPS app on Jack's phone to get a top speed, as well as we're going to have a starting and a stopping line to figure out how quickly he goes from point A to point B. Okay, so we've got speeds and times. I'm gonna average these out on the way back to the garage. Sounds good to me. All right, so we're back from our baseline testing pre-supercharger. Jack, would you wager a guess as to how fast we hit? Average speed? Average. Uh, 23? Uh, a little bit low, slow, actually. We hit 24.22 on average. Okay. But our speed for the time course, we don't have an exact distance, but we did hit uh, 16.038 seconds on average. So now we've got those average times, let's actually get to supercharging this thing. So in order to do this, we need to know what a supercharger is. Supercharger is very simply a fan. It's gonna push more air into the engine. More air means more oxygen, more oxygen, more fuel, more boom, bigger power. And that's the way it works on a car. So what we're gonna be using is this leaf blower. And we've got a air intake down here. And so what we're gonna to have to do is run a tube from this air intake, and we're going to be attaching the leaf blower up here so that we can then force more air into the engine right through this. There we go. That's all we need, baby. Did y'all do any measuring for this? I bought what's measuring. I don't have a slow walk, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake news. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't have a slow walk, no I don't take shit. I got no love for the fake news. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always
always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks, this and that, spitting slow, speaking fast. I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last, but I don't know if that can erase all the past. And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness, hilarious. You think you're worth my time, you're delirious, mysterious, because you are behind a fake exterior. Not sponsored. Future video coming out soon. Hear words, you can say them back. I want you to feel free from the chains at last. And to believe in what you got, it was built to last. Yeah. Now that I've been put through, I never got anyone's help. I had to do it all myself. We gotta do this predictions. What is, what is the fastest speed and what is the best time? Uh, I'm gonna guess, I don't remember the time, but I think we're gonna cut off, I'd say five seconds. Okay, we were roughly about 16. Oh, maybe not that bad. I'd, I'd say three seconds. I think we're gonna cut off about two to three. And maybe get up to 30 miles an hour. I think, yeah, I think we're gonna hit 30, between 30 and 32. Let's, let's do it. Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness. I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away. I could play a NASCAR, take notes. Something that is topical, rub it on and watch it go. Make yourself unstoppable, dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread. I'll be great one day. Too much? I gave it too much. Oh, yeah. But it was, it, it was it like. It wrapped up a little. Maybe we give it too much. Hold on. Squeeze the brake. Are you holding the end at all? Nah. Hold on, wait. No, I'm not actually right now. We might actually need to constrict it slightly. Cause like if I'm revving it up, yeah. We might need to stick that on there. And then some viewers like, oh, excuse me, you did it the wrong way, really. Can we just go out and run it? I wanna see how it does when it's at full rev, because it might do a lot better. I'll tell you what, before we go run it, let's run it around the strip. Okay, hold on. Someone hold this. I have to start it first. All right, here we go. Okay, you hold this brake down. You want to get it like in the middle of the concrete? Huh? It's choking it? What is that? This is the moment they realized they f up. They're like, I'm not holding it now. And like, I'll give it a little. See ya? Just died. It looks a lot slower, isn't it? Isn't it a lot slower? <laughs> kind of. Because it's carbureted. It's so it's just... It's the fuel. Right. Fast. Now here's what we can do. We can make the mixture richer. Yeah, so long story short, we tried, but we couldn't make it richer. So we're just going to fast forward this part. So we do think that we found the richness adjustment screw, but we couldn't quite get it to do anything and it wasn't helping at all as it was. So what we did was I gave it a, a test drive and we decided, you know what, we put all this work into it, we might as well give it a run and see how the time stacks up against non-supercharged, if you will. All right, so we're back at the test track. It's not going as good as we hoped. We're gonna give it a run anyway. 
we're gonna try uh, <laughs> try using the actual blower. We did realize that if you don't hold down the trigger at all, it seems like it runs about the same, which is kind of funny. But if we're gonna try this, we're gonna try it with putting a little bit of a uh, little bit of acceleration into that blower. So let's see uh, let's see what happens. was 18.06 we added a second and a half <laughs> the top speed was 19.9 miles per hour yeah so not exactly the ending we were wanting we added a few seconds though yeah, we went backward went the, went the opposite way we wanted to go <laughs> but you know it would not be going backwards hitting that subscribe button down below, leaving comments. Do you have ideas of how we could make this run better? Let us know in the comments below. This isn't the end for the supercharged scooter. We'll make it work one day. But now that it's all done, I'm glad we went on with no plan, had some fun, and became a little bit closer of friends. After all, that's what all this is for.